people, let's jump right into this video. Uh, we're going to be focusing on the St. Louis World Fair today. The St. Louis World Fair of 1904. Let's keep that in mind. It was 1904, better known as the Louisiana Purchase Exposition. Uh, let's see. It was the last great international exposition before the World War I happened. Let's, we'll see why that's significant. Uh, they must have built this place out. Look at these pictures. This is it's pretty intense. Let's see. Let's dig right into it. Uh, this is in Missouri, United States. Let's see how long. Here we go. April 30th to December 1st, 1904. So it was just a span of a few months. Uh, that's, that's pretty crazy. And this is 1904, people. Local, state, federal funds totaling in $15 million. What do, you, what do you think that'd be equivalent to nowadays? $15 million in 1904? Okay, anyways, uh, we'll just breeze right past that. Uh, more than 60 countries and 43 of them, 45 American states maintain exposition spaces at the fair, uh, which, attended, let's see, which was attended by nearly 19.7 million people. My good, 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 good goodness. <laughs> anyways, uh, this is, I never heard of this before. This is, this is pretty intense. Uh, I've only touched lightly on it, so this ought to be fun. It's, uh, quite interesting too. Let's oh here we go. Architectures, architect, architects. It was right here. I just saw it. Okay, yep. George, hmm. George Kessler, who designed many urban parts in Texas and the Midwest, created this master design for the fair. So this is the mastermind behind it. This is the brains right here, Mr. George Kessler, huh? And he worked under this guy, Frederick Law Olmsted. Olmsted. I'm sorry. Tongue tied today, a little tongue tied, but it's all right. Let's go ahead and pull Mr. George Kessler up. I got him right here. Let's lock down loaded. Mr. Mustache guy. He he looks kind of important. Look at him. He's got his roll of paper, his plans, his blueprints. He's ready to go. Uh, he was born July 16, 1862. He died March 20th on 1923. He was a city planner and landscape architect, right? city planner and a landscape architect hmm okay well try to remember that because that's kind of important city planner landscape architect anyways he, he lived a few about 20 years more after the uh, the st louis fair world fair at that point let's take a look let's take a look i want to scroll down here i want to show you guys something uh he works he worked on this one building this is this is his work right here. All right, I want y'all to remember this. This this is what he put together, supposedly, right? This is what he put together. This, this is what he drew up. Okay, I can I can get down with this. This is Memphis, Tennessee, Parks Department, General Plan of Overton Park. So you guys, anybody lives near Overton Park, maybe y'all can look at this. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And they said that he built this building. Now this one here, it was tore down. Look right here. It was uh, the Gardens of Excelsior Springs, Missouri. Built 1923, demolished 1935. Are you kidding me? This place right here, it only lasted, what, 12 years? I don't believe that one thing. I, do y'all believe the narrative on this story? Look at this. This one building that he built that I can find was destroyed in 12 years later. I cannot find this building where uh, it's, it's just, I can't find any real pictures of it. It's just from this postcard. They said he built it though. <sighs> that's, that's quite interesting to me, you know, like going from this to this and this one gets torn down 12 years later, but supposedly this is left intact. Are, are you serious? Hmm. Now, let's look at uh, Mr. George Kessler's projects. Look, bam, bam, bam. Do you see any grandiose buildings? Any kind of grandiose buildings here, except for the one I just showed you. It's just parks. I don't believe this guy did this. I think this is just a false front, a facade. You know, uh, that's a pun joke for all the buildings. He's just a front, a face. He's not... The person that built these places somebody else did it but it wasn't him and there's many many more buildings like this all around the world that people say that they build them people like this and then they 
get tore down 10, 12 years later. What is going on? You start, well, I'll show you the pattern. We'll start looking at the patterns in it. But yeah, okay. Yeah, you can lay out the streets and stuff like that, but you're not building buildings. This, that might be one of his designs. <laughs> but uh, the, that other building in the garden, it was not his. I don't believe so. Uh, this is just crazy. This, let's take some. Uh, let's look at some pictures of the World's Fair in St. Louis. Here we go. Let's blow this up here. Now, you can try to tell me he went from building those gardens to designing this. Who's the architect of this? I can't find it. Who's the people that built this place? I can't find it. This is crazy. Look at it. Look at the architecture. Yeah, the picture's kind of a little fuzzy. But the statues, the uh, the columns, the, rena um, the the classic Greek style. I I don't think so. Not in 1904. Not not 2023 neither. Not in today's society neither. We don't build buildings like this. Look at this. Do we build like this? I don't think so. Look at this little guy. He's so happy down here. Are you kidding me? Now you can look these pictures up yourself. This was the St. Louis Fair. Look. Who's that? Honest Abe? I'm not even sure. There's another guy right here. This is crazy. Here we go. Looks like an eagle. It's too pixelated. I'm sorry. Let's back out of here. Let's go to the next one. Let's make it bigger. My goodness. Are you telling me? Look at this lagoon. See the boats going up the staircase. Y'all can pause it anytime you need to. There's the city off in the background. But they tore all this down, right? Maybe one or two of these buildings are left. Maybe. I highly doubt it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Look at these people. How orderly. How clean. How uniform they look. What in the world? Look at this building. Look at the architecture. You trying to tell me this building was built by these people? Okay. Let's see. World's Fair Auto. <laughs> And look at the uh, Antiquitech in the background versus these people riding around in this little car that very primitive at best. Let's put it that way. And remember, they, were, they, were, they only had power for like, what, 20 years, 10 years? And power didn't even take off until like 50 years after this, but they, they powered the whole night. They powered, uh, gave, gave the buildings, I'm sorry, Full electricity. Look at these lights outside these buildings. Are you telling me when they barely could use electricity that they had the power to do this? Something's wrong with the timeline. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Just a few more examples, guys. Look at this. You're trying to tell me this is all torn down. This is all built just to be torn down at the end. What? From April to December. All of this work was put put into it 15 million dollars was put into this just to all be torn down i don't think so i do not think so people this is mind-boggling this has to be a different humanity that built this i don't know what happened to them i don't know where they went i don't know what what happened what's going on it resets who knows but we didn't build this. We did not, in my humble opinion, did not build this. Look at this. This is insane. Whoa, this is insane. This looks like a, like a temple of some sort. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. You're trying to tell me that these people built this shaft, this column. Look at that. Are you serious? I, I don't think so. They look like they're marveling at it. Not, I don't, I, I don't know. Anyways, people, until next time. Hang tight. Peace.